iron curtain has descended across the continent. Like a bad penny in a recurring nightmare. I'm back. Hi folks. Welcome back to the Vegematic show. You have somehow found your way into the depths of the YouTube universe. Why did they let you get here? I think it's all it's all a psyop. Everything's a conspiracy. And the uh, conspiracy this week is uh, the wall, <laughs> build it, the wall, you fools, build it, and meanwhile we will send our drones flying across that wall. Yeah, really seriously, what the hell, man, craziness never stops, does it? Just so much craziness in the world, that's why I drink. At least that's the, the excuse I give my internet audience. Thank you, internet audience. You could probably all fit into this room. And wouldn't that be fun? Man, you know, I, I'm having these dreams lately, and, and they're really starting to bother me. I'm at the end of the world, and, 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 and people are all naked, and, and, and then I c come and get judged, and I get like, you've been a bad boy, whack as pee, -pee. This world makes no sense. It can't make sense. Why should it make sense? Random things happening every time you do this. If you drop it this way, would it go that way? And would it go? So amazingly complex mathematical algorithms that run the entire universe. It's fascinating, really. Even though I haven't got a fucking clue what it's about. But anyway, thanks for coming by. And thanks for all the, the, the lovely comments. You know, what am I? I'm a troll-free zone. I can't even attract a troll. Okay, so, you know, this is really starting to, to bother me. I think, are they hiding me so well that not even a troll will click on um, some kind of like National Enquirer type of headline that I might decide to put on there, just like, is, is Trump an alien? Well, he is, but I, never mind, that was truthful. Um, I don't want to get into conspiracy theories these days, but you know, everything's a conspiracy. No matter what you think of, of anything, it's all a conspiracy. It's all bullshit, and it all doesn't matter, ultimately. Well, I'd like to give a good shout-out to Tex Hunter. Thank you, Tex, for giving me the theme for this week's show. The show has been really, really late this week. And it's like the back when you watched Dren and Stimpy and you weren't sure if they, they were going to get one out or not. Well, that's me. Uh, what has just happened was that I had to buy a new video card. It cost a lot of money. And uh, the computer's running really well now, and I can do all kinds of fun things with it which uh, it wasn't doing very well. Being four years old and obsolete, like most things that we bought four years ago, they're all obsolete by now. But I decided that, no, I'm going to spring for the, like, 400 bucks for the deluxe fancy video card. I can use this thing without sounding like uh, I, I'm in an airport, which <laughs> I was getting to. So they offered me the old video card, and I looked at it, and I said, well, what am I going to do with that, right? I, and why did I get to offer you? Yeah, I know you took the damn thing out. Like, I, I'm quite capable of taking the computer cover off and, and seeing that you installed something really uh, much better. And, and it's so, you know, I'm happy. I'm, I'm poor, but I'm happy. But I got my desktop back, and... Laptops just don't have the same panache as the good old desktop. And phones have even less panache. It's just, it's just kind of, it's getting miniaturized and shit, you know? But I think it's a conspiracy against boomers because they keep miniaturizing the shit and you can't read it. And yeah, old people, ha ha, old people won't be able to read this shit. Oh, well, the revenge of the, the millennials against the uh, slights against them by the boomer generation. Well, we are all boomer tumor consumers. It's just part of our nature. We were brought up that way. It's not our fault. 
We were raised in front of the television, which programmed us with gamma rays for many years. And then we were forced to take psychedelics in the 60s and 70s. They forced it on us. We had no choice. It was a CIA experiment or something. I've never been the same, and millions of others have never been the same. So thank you. And Timothy Leary, a CIA agent all along. And uh, I, I know, okay. So you're, oh, he's dead? Yeah, well, Timothy Leary's dead. And no, he's not sleeping. He's dust by now. Psychedelic dust. Particleizing in the air. It's sparkling diamonds. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's all bullshit, man. Everything the counterculture was, it was all bullshit. It was just, you know, come on. Uh, my generation, the counterculture, look at, uh, yeah, the, the people that brought you Ronald Reagan, the people that brought you greed is good. Yes, it's my generation, but um, I don't dig it. I don't dig what we've done to the planet. I don't dig what we've done to the economy. I don't groove on it, man. And the reason I keep doing this, aside from personal narcissism, is that I'm constantly looking for more people to, to say, hey, uh, I agree with you, and, and, and I'm just as nuts as you. So uh, come on board if you're looking for some, something to do. Uh, what is it, once a week, usually 15, 20 minutes sometimes? I don't make big, long, winded speeches to try and impress people. I'm a fading old guy, but, you, you know, I'm still bitching. And, and if the kids don't get off my lawn this year, man, there's going to be real... You know, there's going to be hell to pay, I tell you. I got a, a really wicked-looking cane now. It's even got... It's, 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 it's got accessories built into it. It's the, the, the whacker cane, you know? It's got an extender and everything. It's like, you kids, get off of my lawn. Um, what else is going on? Mexico, Trump has gone down to Mexico, but he doesn't eat any burritos. He stands there and goes, I'm a racist pig. I'm a fucking racist pig. Vote for me because I want to do a completely worthless monument to myself, and if I don't get it, I shut down the government. Shut it down. And if I don't get it, I'll call a state of emergency. And you know what he can do if he, he calls a state of emergency, man? He can, he can fuck you up good, right? Yeah, I, and here I am using foul language again on YouTube, but it's, in, it's inevitable. And of course I'm going to be censored. And of course I'm going to be sent down to the bottom of the goddamn algorithm from hell. But other than that, you know, my week's going good. It's, it's, it's going good. I got my computer back. Uh, the, the snow came. It's, it's, it's snowy finally. What do, you, what do you think? January in Canada and it's snowy. It's, it's a miracle. It's a climate change miracle. We have snow finally. Man, oh man, oh man. What a time we live in. What horrendous things we face in the future. What horrendous uh, acts they have planned for us. What horrendous things we have done. What horrendous things we shall reap. <sighs> there. Are you feeling better? I'm trying to be happily hopeless again this week. And, and uh, sometimes happily hopeless doesn't work. Hair drawn like this. Jim Jones, the, 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 the stuff that YouTube sends me. Stop it, YouTube. Stop it, Google. Stop sending me anything that has the letter fucking Q in it. And you know, YouTube, oh, what are they doing now? Oh, I get this thing. Oh, as of January 1st, you won't be automatically sharing your videos on Twitter or G+, which is going out of business because they can't handle a couple of Filipino... Uh, porn sites, they, they just, you know, they say, well, you're being exposed to nakedness and stuff. And they, yeah, they got, they got used. They got used really bad, man. They got used worse than Stormy Daniels did. And that's saying something. You know, one of the good things about getting your computer serviced is that the, the, the little 
guy that does it and he goes you had corrupted files and I went, oh okay I didn't know that well you know how they got corrupted my Windows 7 was corrupted because they loaded Windows 10 and I said no take it back I don't want it I still want Windows 7 he goes oh you are wise Windows 7 they can track everything you do everything you know, honesty and dignity and you know, I, I don't expect that from the average citizen these days I uh, live in uh, what would be considered I guess the Canadian Bible Belt or Deep South the uh, the armpit of Canada southern Ontario and and we are if you look at the map we jet right down and, and we're we're part of us is just jetting right down into you into America but I'm stuck. I mean, how many of us are stuck in our lives for whatever reason? You just don't want to change things, and you know you really should change things, but you can't change things, and, the, and, you, and it's an endless struggle. You know what I mean? I thought so. So I, I, I hope you don't mind just this endless rambling and stuff. I'm going to be trying to retrieve a documentary film that I wanted, well, that I started a couple of years ago. And it's in there somewhere and I've got to find it and continue working on it. And what it is, is it's a 40... A year history of the right-wing takeover of the universe and by all these right-wing kind of weird people that think that it, we should be living in the 1950s again and as I watch American democracy in action I have not much faith in the future I watch uh, Nancy Pelosi uh, <laughs> And the and Chuck Schumer, Schum, the Schum, the Schum's kind of a, this is old business guy, and nobody trusts him and everything. He's not an old man like Bernie. Now Bernie's an old man you can trust. Why is Bernie an old man you can trust? You just look at him, man. He's just like your favorite uncle, and he, he talks about the same thing over and over again, and stays on message. And look what he has uh, done. Okay. He, uh, he, a lot of people say, well, I can never support Bernie because he caved to Hillary. Well, yes, he, he kind of had no choice, I think. He's like, uh, I think they made him an offer that he could not refuse. Yeah, I watched The Godfather, a little part of it, because you know, it's like, okay, this is supposed to be the big classic. And it just reminded me, oh, yeah, I miss The Sopranos. It's the same thing. It's all this gangster shit. But you don't need to watch that shit, because it's all on the news if you uh, know where to look on the news, which is getting harder and harder these days because of massive Internet censorship. There was a reason that Shit Pie actually wanted no such thing as net neutrality there was a reason for it oh you think because they can control you and control the propaganda and control the uh, the expression of, of free thought and things that have, have basically since the enlightenment led to the betterment of human beings yeah well um, let's see what else is going on well, you got all the, the, the people going for the Democratic primary. It looks like a really crowded field, right? And and it goes from, like, uh, corporate Dems, and there's, there's like, Kamala Harris, and they go, oh, she's wonderful, and uh, Beto O'Rourke, and, and usual people. And, and, you know, some of them are actually going, going sniffing. <laughs> they're going sniffing around Wall Street, and uh, they're hoping for a big payoff so you know what kind of um, candidates that the the proud uh, third way democrats are capable of providing and medicare for all well we'll think about it impeach the orange zit on america's ass we'll think about it 
if, if somebody hasn't done the, the 25th Amendment thing, yeah, you got nothing. You got nothing. Your Constitution means absolutely nothing. Just like our Constitution here in Canada, given to us by uh, Justin Justin B Bieber, no, Justin Trudeau, not, not Bieber. I, I think Justin Bieber Trudeau, who leads us. Oh, he's, I'm so proud of, of our Prime Minister. Yes, he's marginally better than the conservatives, and, but he's still a neoliberal, and he's like, uh, you know, he's like Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi and Hillary and all that shit, and he's in, in cahoots with, with the business class. He just cut taxes for uh, corporations to compete. And they had to because of the trillion-dollar tax cut that Herr Drumpf gave everybody and it's like a free ride, a free ride. Yeah, it's like the you know, the the damned Amazon Amazon <laughs> deal. You know, we'll give you how many billion dollars to, to yeah, well I'll bid against you. Yeah, I'll give you I'll raise you a billion, give you a billion and a half and yeah. You know, at one time, profitable companies would actually contribute to the communities that they <laughs> that they sucked money out of. But Amazon and Bezos, well, Bezos is going to be even worse now because didn't he just get divorced? Uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, suddenly, I smell, I smell money. Uh, maybe you won't be the richest, but you'll still be... The biggest prick on the face of the earth, Jeff. There you go. I said it. That ensures that this will remain under the radar and at the bottom of the internet for the rest of eternity. But if you've tuned in and you like the Vegematic channel, then please remember to share because uh, even if you share, it may not get shared. It may or may not. It may uh, it may grow. I, I think I get one. Uh, they're teasing me. It's like well, I got three subscribers, and it's like I'd go up, and then you know, it's like you think we're gonna let you do anything on YouTube when you talk like you do. I you should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, I know, Google. I'm sorry, Google. I really do love you. You're like this monstrous kind of entity that that fills me with hope for humanity. Google, you do it. You do it for me. I mean, I mean, okay. So if you don't get that this show is sarcasm, then you don't get you don't get the show. And so I wonder how many people actually have the mental capacity to watch the Vegematic show. Oh, sure, that's not an ego thing to say. It's just an actual curiosity. Uh, I know that my subscribers are the finest people on the face of the earth. And, you know, if I asked them to help me out, <laughs> they'd say, Who? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I've got some nice people. I've met some nice people on here. And I value their friendship very, very much. Even though they're electronic and, you know, they can't join me in a room and sit and talk about all this shit and, and get drunk together and smoke a few bowlfuls together. Now, this is, uh, this is a work of, of, of art from my, from my deceased friend, Al. And he made this, uh, he, he did glass blowing. And he ran a business uh, making things, bad things. And so I just thought I'd show it to the YouTube audience in uh, memory of, memory of Al. Man, it's weird when you lose people that you care about. It's just so weird. And we're all going to face that, right? And we're all, you know, change is constant. The only thing constant is change. Sometimes the changes come too fast and whack you on the head like with a two by four and say, man, how did this change come about? I didn't do nothing to deserve this. You don't have to do nothing to deserve it. It's just the universe going, ha <laughs> um, Anyway, uh, that's it for this week. Um, well, no, maybe I'll put out another one in a couple of days. It depends. I'm having so much fun with my non- uh, 
non-jet powered computer now that I may just put out a two in one week. Be why? Because I love you guys and I care about you and uh, I got nothing better to do, right? So, if you like the Vegematic channel, if you get the Vegematic channel, if you if you laugh at the Vegematic channel, you are a very special human being. 